What is up YouTube? It's Kingfisher745. This video is going to be all about Heroic Age Iron Fist. We've managed to unlock the costume. We're going to show you how, then we're going to show you him in battle. Now this is the very last task, Defeat Fixer, and he is the boss of the premium mission, Mission 6. Once you complete all of these tasks, you're given 10 gold. You also get that command point. Then what we're going to do is we're going to click OK. And you'll see the number of rewards that come up. So there it says Chapter Perfect. And since we completed everything, we're going to get 10 command points. Then we're going to get 5 more gold. And finally, we're going to unlock the Heroic Age costume for Iron Fist. And it says Grant's Bruiser Class. So we're going to go ahead and click continue. Then it's going to ask us if we want to equip it. So let's click yeah. And now we're going to go look. So you'll see that we do have the new costume. And we also have the scrapper version. So don't worry, you definitely get both versions. Now overall the bruiser costume might be the best. But we want to use him along with Juggernaut. And that's because Juggernaut's going to boost his melee attacks. So we're using the scrapper outfit. For now, we socketed him with Steady and Lasting. I'm not sure that's the best combination for the Scrapper. Still, I didn't want a Glass Cannon, so I went ahead and put some defense on him. And also some Stamina. And he has 5 bar stats and Attack, Accuracy, Evasion, and Health. But this may not be our final combination of ISO, so go ahead and play around with the character for yourself. It may work best in the Bruiser costume, actually. Now this is the golden weapon that you get when you complete all of the missions on challenge mode. And we're going to go ahead and use this weapon throughout this video as well. You'll see that it does pretty good damage and I don't mind this weapon. In fact I think it looks pretty cool. And regardless you're going to want to finish all the missions on challenge mode anyway because you must do this to unlock the heroic age outfit. In fact you have to finish all the tasks, you have to complete each mission on challenge mode. You have to fight both epic bosses, do seven incursions, and all of the heroic battles. And you also have to do a number of deployments. So it takes a lot of characters to finish this. When you take your very first look at Iron Fist in the Heroic Age outfit, you'll notice he has the same skills. Then he has Heart of Sha Lao. And then of course he also has his passives, Combo Breaker and Pure of Spirit. But once we use his quick action level 9 move, it unlocks another bar of abilities, and these are very strong abilities. The only thing is there is a cooldown on his level 9. And there you see the animation, it's actually pretty awesome as well. Now once we use that, we have to wait 3 rounds for it to come back. But we'll get the option to use one of 3 abilities. 5 Fingers of Death, White Hot Iron Fist, or his third ability there, Praying Lotus which heals all allies. So it's pretty amazing and as you're about to see he does tons of damage especially with these unlocked abilities but even his normal skill set especially when coupled with Juggernaut will do quite a bit of damage and his heals are of course very impressive as well. Since that first battle went by pretty fast we're gonna go ahead and fight the computer one more time and then we're gonna do three PvP battles with this exact team and we're going to keep using that golden weapon as far as juggernaut we're going to go ahead and try to kill this bruiser and the reason is because we're using the scrapper iron fist unfortunately we left him with just 133 health so he is going to get a hit on my iron fist so far I'm really impressed with this character and I think juggernaut's a pretty good team up but you may want to try him out with a number of other characters I might try him out with angel at some point most likely Phoenix, Emma Frost, you name it. The fact that he's a scrapper and a bruiser really comes in handy as well. So you can use either costume version and that certainly helps with building teams. If I didn't have him teamed up with a bruiser and juggernaut, I would probably be using the bruiser costume. I can guarantee you that when he's enraged he's going to hit for some incredible damage. Let's go ahead and use his level 9. And we're going to show you some of that damage right here. So once we use the Heart of the Shao Lao, that awesome animation happens. 
and then we get to use one of his special abilities once again. So this time, let's go ahead and go with his second ability, White Hot Iron Fist, and we'll hit that blaster. So there you go, a 22,000 hit on the computer, and since Juggernaut's moves guaranteed the hit and crit, we're going to go ahead and finish the bruiser, and then we'll move on to the final wave before the PvP battles. In this final wave, we're going to face two scrappers, so they may get to double attack our agent, but Juggernaut's going to do a ton of damage and gain enraged. Our agent will forfeit his turn, and that way Iron Fist and Juggernaut get two turns. And that's all thanks to the Shepherd Staff. I seriously can't wait to see some of the other chapter rewards for the alternate costumes. I think this is one of the best things that they added in Season 2. Now with Iron Fist, we have to use his regular hit, but it still does quite a bit of damage, especially with the boost from the Juggernaut. And there you see we have one round left on his cooldown for his level 9. But let's go ahead and use his level 1, and we'll finish this scrapper. And it did over 9k, so now we're going to try to take out the other one as well. And we're able to with another epic overkill. Now this is going to be the very first PvP battle that I ever did with this version of Iron Fist. And unfortunately the PvP tournament hasn't started yet, so you're somewhat limited on who you can battle. But we happen to get matched up against a Hulk, a Blaster Agent, and an Infiltrator Phoenix team. I'm thinking that Iron Fist shouldn't have too many problems taking out that Phoenix, especially since he'll get a double attack. But first, let's use the Neurotrope, then the Shepherd Staff. And then we're going to go ahead and show you that gun in PvP. So here's the Golden Enfield. We're going to shoot Phoenix with it. And it did pretty massive damage to her. Next, with Juggernaut, we're going to use the Surge of Sidorak. And that'll boost Iron Fist and Juggernaut's attacks by quite a bit. Next, we're going to do some damage and try to stun Hulk. So we hit him with the Sunday Punch. Unfortunately, he wasn't stunned. So now we have to wait for Phoenix's turn. She decides to hit Juggernaut. And next, it's going to be the moment we've been waiting for. Let's use the level 9 Heart of Shaolau and get access to his powerful abilities. Then we're going to use his level 1 Five Fingers of Death, and that's because it has Brutal Strike. So hopefully we can finish Phoenix here, and she won't even resurrect. So let's hit her. We'll also gain double attack. So there, it did a ton of damage, took her out, and there's no death and rebirth. Now, Juggernaut just made the mistake of attacking all of my teammates when we had the Neurotrope effects. So he's in for a lot of counterattacks. And there you can see all the damage we're doing. But he is staying alive for some reason, even after a huge counterattack from Iron Fist. And that really impressed us right there. He did over 30,000 damage on the counterattack. But Hulk is still standing. So that might give us a few problems. Well, we'll see what their agent does. So anyways, their agent's going to use Hotshot. It's going to finish Juggernaut, and it may provide some stuns. So yes, it did stun our agent. So it looked like we should dominate this one, but instead, we actually might lose. And that would be pretty crazy. Iron Fist is going to get two turns, though. But instead of getting two attacks on their agent and finishing him, we have to waste an attack on Hulk, and we have to do this because he is capable of killing both of our characters at once. So first we hit the agent, and then we have to take out Hulk. So let's go ahead and just use his level 1 on Hulk, and then we just have to worry about what their agent does. We're hoping that he hits our agent and spares Iron Fist, but you never know, he's going to use the Warbringer Axe. Of course, on Iron Fist, and it's a big hit. Oh, and some more bad luck, he's going to use the Hard Knocks. But we did manage to live with 416 health. So yeah, this wasn't that great of a battle at the end, but we did win. And we got to see some amazing attacks from Iron Fist. Including a very quick takeout of the Phoenix. So all in all, not a bad first battle. We probably should put in the scroll instead of that gun, but we want to show it some more, so 
we're not that worried about it. We're going to do our best. And the video is mainly about Heroic Age Iron Fist anyway. So if we put on the hot shot and weapons like that, it would probably take the spotlight away from him a little bit. And the other problem is, the higher we choose someone as far as their rating on the practice screen, the lower their stats seem to be. So I really can't figure that one out. But let's go ahead and use the level 9. And then we're going to try the Terran Iron Patriot down there. We really don't want to get hit with 21 gun salute. So let's see if we can finish him. And there was a 63,000 hit on his very first turn. Yeah, this costume definitely makes Iron Fist a beast. In a future video, I'm going to try to build around his bruiser version. And that way we can see what type of hits we get when he's enraged times 2. I'm pretty sure we're going to break 100k easily. Now after my agent's turn, we're fully expecting a summon thunder. We're just hoping that it doesn't do that much damage. Alright, so here we go. It actually didn't do that much damage. So we kind of lucked out. He didn't really have too many buffs on him. If he would have had enraged before that attack, we may have been in trouble. And we take him out with our counterattacks. Now there's no reason to hit their agent, and that's because he has astral form. So we'll just have to wait it out, and you know the very next turn, the computer will always break it. So there they go, they used a Warbringer Axe, and now we're going to be able to hit him with Iron Fist. But instead, let's go ahead and use that heal. You saw how much healing it said it did. And there it goes for 42,000. And that's not even on his second skill set, that's on his first. Then we still get to do a hit. So we're going to use that, and then we get the follow-up attack. And that does some amazing damage. Now we're moving on to the final battle of the video. And we're facing Black Widow, a Blaster Agent, and Omega Sentinel. So let's start out by unlocking Iron Fist's more powerful skills. And then we do have to wait for all the buffs to come up on everyone. Then we have to decide who do we want to hit. And first I was thinking Omega Sentinel. But maybe we should go ahead and hit their agent instead. So let's see what kind of damage we can do through this shield. Let's use the five fingers of death on their agent. So we break his shield down and do a little bit of damage to him. Then we place a number of really good debuffs on him. And that's going to help out with our future attacks on the agent. Omega Sentinel is going to use her heal already. And that's fine with us. She only healed a little bit back. And then she uses Defense Array. On our agent's turn, we're going to use Neurotrope. Followed by the Shepherd Staff. And then we're going to use that brand new Golden Gun of ours. And we will be targeting Omega Sentinel this time. So right after we use the staff, we're going to use the Golden Enfield on Omega Sentinel. And it looks like it's going to do a quite a bit of damage as well. So it cuts through that shield and drops her the 25k. Next, Juggernaut's going to use the Surge of Sidorak. And then we could use the Mountain Crusher to break the shield of Black Widow. But we don't want to get hit with a counterattack just yet. So instead, let's go ahead and hit Omega Sentinel as well. And that's going to be enough to finish her. Their agent is definitely going to hit the Juggernaut. And he does 15k to him. That's not too bad. It is from a blaster, and we do 16k back with the counterattack. And that's because of the Neurotrope. Black Widow also hits Juggernaut. And this time, he won't counterattack. And that's because Black Widow is stealthy. So there, with Iron Fist, we heal Juggernaut back to full, and we still get an attack, and that's because of the Shepherd Staff. And it was almost enough to finish their agent. So there he is, sitting at only 793 health. And we're going to use Juggernaut's guaranteed hit and crit, I'm the Juggernaut. That'll finish the agent for sure. So now let's go ahead and break that shield of Black Widow. And we did some pretty good damage to her as well. After this attack from her, we should be able to finish this battle. And it would be pretty fitting if we could finish her with the Heroic Age Iron Fist. But I'm not sure if he can do it. We don't have access to that second skill set right now. There's one round left of a cooldown on his level 9. 
it looks like our best option is just to go ahead and put her as close to death as possible, and then at least our agent gets to finish it off with that shiny new golden gun. I'd be really surprised if it doesn't finish this battle, so this is going to be the last attack of the video. I really hope you enjoyed it, and you liked our first look at the Heroic Age costume for Iron Fist. There's still plenty more videos to come on Season 2, so make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you liked the video, please hit the thumbs up button. And if you have any questions or comments, don't hesitate to leave them in the section below. Once again, I thank you for watching, and good luck in Season 2.